Flashback. Oh, you get the opportunity to stay close to home, go right down the street and yes, play sir. in Sun Devil Stadium, yes, Frank Coach Field. Um, how excited are you about that? Honestly, it's a dream come true for me. I mean, that's been my dream in school growing up, so it's really exciting for me, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to playing for Herm Edwards and the rest of the coaching staff. It's just an honor. Uh, more excited to eat the hamburgers at Chuck Box or the <laughs> Oreo churros in the stadium? I have to go with Chuck Box. I love that hamburger place. How's school going for you? It's going great. I mean, right now I got great grades, so, uh, I mean, that's what the Qualifying's not an issue. Qualifying's <laughs> not an issue. Exactly. Uh, what's your favorite class? My favorite class right now, from the classes I got, because I only got four periods, I'll, I'll have to go with current issues. Uh, I like debating and stuff like that. Oh, I like debating too. <laughs> my, my girlfriend over there, she, she knows all about it. Right. What is it about like ASU's coaching staff and stuff like that? I heard that they've been a little yeah. active with you. Uh, what is it about their coaching staff that they got now that you love so much? Uh, you know, everything that I've seen, I went out to their practice, one of their practices during uh, track season and every team seemed a lot more composed because I went out during the before the Herm era and it was a little bit more running around and stuff and they seemed a lot more disciplined and it seems like they're getting a lot more of the community and you know I, I love that it's, it's all about the community and getting everybody there. Herm Edwards yeah. is that your coach or is that your dad's coach? I've been telling everybody that's like these recruits is dad's coach. <laughs> yeah that's more of like I don't know I heard that he relates to the kids you know I haven't talked to him personally yet but I heard he can relate to the kids and you know that's what it's all about at the end of the day. So. End of flashback. So that was ASU commit Ricky Pearsall and Hendricks Johnson who's all of a sudden popping up on the radar. So I just pulled up to Sun Devil Stadium, Frank Cush Field for the Michigan State ASU game and it looks like it's going to be packed. Your boy Chili, I am going to uh, try to catch up with Ralph and some various members of the Devil Digest team. We'll see what they got to say about some of the uh, happenings yesterday with all the recruits because I heard some of our recruits had big days. But anyways, let's get to this game. ASU! 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 I just got to the stadium. We're going to check in with the Inferno and maybe go down to the sidelines, hang out with your boy. All right, right now ASU's on the field. We're going to do the Inferno check-in real quick. I'm hopefully going to catch up with Ralph. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm out here with Star-Lord, uh, DevilsDigest.com, ArizonaVarsity.com. I think I saw, like, uh, all the top 100 players in the state of Arizona here on the sidelines. Ooh, a lot of pressure on Arizona State to do something tonight, right? Like. They, they can't come out in here and get blown out of the water like they did in last year's blackout game against USC. They got all these kids out here. Five-star Keely Ringo. It's hot, hey, it's hot out here. You gotta give them a reason to wanna come back and wear black in this stadium. So all the pressure's on ASU right now. I think there's 70 kids here, 40 with offers. Even Brett Johnson Kalkovitz out here. Brett, what? And so all of Saguaro, Chef Rell got kids. This is big, ASU needs to show out tonight. Today at the Sun Devils game, what we're going to be talking about is dress code. I want to know, is it okay for men to wear jerseys of players still? I think so. Really? Because a lot of people are saying that it's kind of corny. Like Jay-Z said, it's dead. Jay-Z. This is Jay-Z, Sean Carter, Mr. Knowles. Y'all already know. I don't know why Jay-Z has to set the trends. I think if you want to wear a jersey and you want to rep your team, you have every right to do so. So if your man is wearing a jersey, you're going to be all right with it, and you're going to be like, oh, hey, that's my man right there. Or you're going to be like, I don't really know that guy, like, you kind of... My man can wear to, whatever to, jersey to he wants. To... <laughs> so, being at a Sun Devils game right now, what jersey would you wear? Who's your favorite player? I can't answer that! <laughs> I, I, I kind of think that she's a Chase Lucas fan. Is it okay for a grown man to wear like a Nikhil Harry jersey or like a Manny Wilson jersey? Uh, that's really toe on the line. That, that's what I, I thought. Know. Man, the non-believers gonna be non-believers, but we gonna make them into believers, baby. You 
at that. Look at that. You see how I'm leaving? That's why, because they leaving. They you got the you got the hot new shoes. I seen yeah. the Q Harry talking about that. Right, right, right. Where, where can everybody get them though? 151 Scottsdale Fashion Square. Is that the only place or are they online or oh yeah, they online through shopshoesy.com. Alright man, how, how did you come up with the concept? How did you get into it? Uh Nike actually dropped me, so when Nike dropped me, I just said, I'm going to go make my own shoe. Bad move. We got a lot of Sunday. We got Sunday Up Nation. It's big. Right. Um, how special is Nikhil Harry? I mean, you did it here. So how special is he? Uh, I, th I think he has the opportunity to be the best receiver to come out here soon, man. Hey, with you and with Nikhil and with all the hot young receivers that are coming through uh, in the system recruiting and stuff like that, is it fair to say that ASU is the new wide receiver you? We've been a wide receiver you. Been wide receiver you. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, go back, go back. Start, starting when? Derek Hagan, Sean McDonald, Kyle Williams, Jalen Strong, Mike Lilly, Nikhil Harry. We got plenty more I ain't mean. Hey, Ricky Pearsall coming soon. Ricky Pearsall coming soon. ASU got that dub. We, we kind of knew that that was going to happen. I had a good feeling about it. Like, the, the mojo, the vibe. Because it's a vibe over here, that Sun Devil vibe. Um, were there any recruits that you were surprised to see out here? Uh, Brett Johnson from, uh, he's a Cal commit. He's kept his recruitment really low key. Um, he's a fantastic player. I think there's a strong chance outside of Spencer Rattler, he ends up having the most successful career. He looked 15 years down the road. So it was pretty big for ASU to get him out here to put on a show to stop the run. Um, but everybody else, I mean, why wouldn't you want to come out to Sun Devil Stadium, whether you're going to commit or not? It's a good time. You get to come out here with some of the state's best, be around your teammates and stuff. I don't see why you wouldn't come visit. And the most important thing, you get the ASU gets this big victory in front of all these high, you know, high-level recruits, all the Keeley Ringos. Uh, they needed that. Yeah. Was a big gamble they took by having all those guys out here. I, I like it. I like it. I like. It. I, I'd love to see half of Saguaro putting on an ASU uniform. All right, so ASU gets a big 16 to 13 victory over Michigan State. Nikhil Harry with the game tying touchdown reception and a local boy Brandon Reese with the uh, game winning field goal. Absolutely crazy in the stadium. And you know what? That's another sideline vlog, Devil's Digest edition. Make sure that you uh, subscribe, justchili.tv. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, show your boy some love, leave a comment. And other than that, you already know, uh, I'll be back next home game or I might take the trip to Washington, I'm not sure. I would love to go out there and hit the gum wall real quick. But anyways, your boy, JustChili.tv. Make sure you guys subscribe. Follow me at JustChili.